Hi guys, welcome to Animeized. This is the English translated version of the novel Throne of Seal. The novel differs slightly from the Chinese animation or Dong Hua. If you want more of these videos, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Enjoy and have a blessed day. After a brief moment of thought, Long Haochen said, Advance 30 meters. Formation arrowhead. As he spoke, he reactivated his brilliant holy shield, leading his companions as they charged forward. A distance of 30 meters, they could retreat at any moment, and although the situation on the battlefield had changed somewhat, the demon onslaught was still fierce. Since they had entered the battlefield, they needed to relieve the burden on their allies. By advancing 30 meters, they would definitely become the target of many. But they could also draw the demons towards them, reducing the pressure on their allies. Thirteen people, like a sharp blade, charged forward along the wide street. Shima Xian was on Long Haochen's right side, and his power Pill of Light became the most advantageous weapon for their assault. With formidable attack power, they served as the vanguard, overwhelming the lower-ranked demons. Lower-ranked demons couldn't stop them at all. Long Haochen also took this opportunity to release the Gathering Spirit Halo, helping his companions recover their spiritual energy. The combat strength of the thirteen people erupted fully as they charged into the demon camp. Han Yu, stationed at the rear, was very steady, relying on light reflection and the light punishment bestowed by Long Haochen combining offense and defense, and he primarily focused on defense. He provided strong protection for the rear. At this moment, with Liu Xi, the official priest, present, he didn't need to worry about healing. In fact, Liu Xi only needed to cast a few enhancement spells on everyone, without the need for extensive healing. Long Haochen's charge was met with a strong counterattack from the demons. While the death of the demon lord had undoubtedly shaken the demon army, at the same time, Long Haochen and his team had also garnered the attention of the demon forces. Several 6th and 7th rank demon strongmen charged towards them, standing together with Long Haochen and his team. However, after advancing only 30 meters, Long Haochen came to a halt. As the core of the team, he needed to pay attention to the overall battlefield situation. His brilliant holy shield was held horizontally and vertically, working in conjunction with the holy guiding spirit furnace, attracting the most powerful enemies towards himself. With his solid defense, he prevented them from posing a threat to his teammates. Both commander level number 21 and number 22, these two demon hunting squads had experienced life and death situations in the midst of the demon army. So their coordination was excellent. What's more, within these two teams, there was only one voice, which was Long Haochen's. Every command from Long Haochen was executed promptly. The thirteen of them acted as one, allowing the demon army to attack as they pleased, yet they remained unyielding at a position thirty meters deep within the enemy ranks. Boom! Three dark purple rays of light struck Long Haochen's brilliant holy shield, shattering the holy shield spell. Long Haochen also took a slight step back. Not far away, three exceptionally tall demon eye sorcerers focused their attacks on him. Due to the continuous assault by the demon army, these demon eye sorcerers had no need to worry about Long Haochen's attacks posing a threat to them. Each of them had ten eyes on their heads, and their cultivation levels were all at the primary sixth rank. However, when facing Long Haochen, there was also a formidable sixth rank demon, the Golden Dual Swords Demon. In theory, the Golden Dual Swords Demon's strength was far inferior to that of the Demon Lord but its speed was faster and exceptionally cunning compared to the Demon Lord. Once caught by Long Haochen's holy guiding spirit furnace, it would immediately retreat, without giving Long Haochen's team a chance to focus their attacks. In a situation where he couldn't take risks, Long Haochen didn't have many ways to deal with it. Besides the Golden Dual Swords Demon, Long Haochen also had to face an even greater threat, and this threat came from the sky. It was an especially large dual-headed vulture, occasionally diving down towards him, continuously unleashing dark and fire magic. Long Haochen had to divert most of his attention to deal with this dual-headed vulture, and whenever the dual-headed vulture attacked, he had to immediately use the Holy Guiding Spirit Furnace to redirect its attacks onto himself. This way, he had to endure the collective attacks of a 7th-ranked and 4 6th rank demon strongmen all by himself. Even with Long Haochen's strength, it was somewhat challenging to withstand such powerful attacks. However, it was precisely under this immense pressure that Long Haochen displayed extraordinary strength. In the eyes of his companions, he was like an indestructible fortress, impervious to the enemy's assaults, standing steadfast. Long Haochen had pushed the defense of his brilliant holy shield and brilliant holy armor to the limit, and at times when the shield couldn't defend in time, he used his own body to block the enemy's attacks. The two sixth-rank defensive skills attached to his equipment played a significant role. They allowed him to remain unwavering, not even retreating half a step. Long Haochen's reactions had been honed in the Owl Beast dungeon, so even when danger was imminent, he could respond accordingly. He appeared like a radiant golden figure, moving within a small area, yet he managed to absorb all the attacks of the strongest enemies onto himself. Of course, if he were alone, he would still be unable to withstand such a multitude of powerful attacks, but behind him, 
his companions provided strong support. The three heads of Hao Yu divided their tasks among themselves, with Xiao Hua and Xiao Qing targeting the especially strong dual-headed vulture in the sky, preventing it from fully focusing its attacks on Long Haochen, while Xiao Wang continuously cast enhancement spells and defense shields on Long Haochen. In addition to Hao Yu, there was also Yu Ting's formidable support abilities. It's worth noting that Long Haochen's brilliant set, despite having the ability to save spiritual energy, Long Haochen almost continuously used his Holy Shield and Holy Spirit's protection. His total spiritual energy was only 4,000, yet it seemed like it would never run out, as he continuously cast one powerful skill after another. And there was never a sign of him running out of energy. Furthermore, thanks to Yuting, Long Haochen's regular attacks occasionally transformed into Holy Sword and Sunlight Cut, which were incredibly powerful. He not only defended against five formidable enemies, but he also managed to occasionally kill some mid- and low-ranked demons. In the rear, Lu Xi had already begun casting healing magic, primarily targeting the members of their commander level number 22 demon hunting squad. This was not because he was biased, but because the seven members of commander level number 21 demon hunting squad had not been injured at all. Even if someone had been attacked, it was also shared by seven people who share soul chain life. As long as Long Haochen remained unshaken, it was nearly impossible for the enemy to cause real harm to their team. Han Yu's performance at the rear was also commendable, with his light reflection and light punishment abilities being quite formidable, and the two brillianter equipment items making him even more powerful. He could temporarily hold off even sixth-ranked enemies. After all, he was a pure guardian knight, with the only difference being that he was not as advanced in cultivation and skills as Long Haochen. But in other aspects, he was not much weaker than Long Haochen. Jingnan Pass was a massive city, and due to the invasion of the demon race, battles were happening everywhere, and Long Haochen's team was located in the central area of the city. In just a short moment, their actions had already caught the attention of friendly forces. In the battles on this side, the most powerful demons were of the seventh rank, similarly. On the human side, the strongest were also only at the seventh rank. It was unclear whether the eighth ranked and above powerhouses had coordinated their actions, as they did not appear in the street battles. However, astute individuals understood that those who had reached the eighth rank in cultivation were currently engaged in a fierce battle in the sky. The battle in the sky was even more critical. Whichever side gains absolute superiority in the air, it also means the end of this war. Since the strongest enemies in the street battles are only at the seventh rank, most of the fights occur between third to seventh rank powerhouses. Long Haochen's team has already successfully dealt with several demons of the sixth rank and above. How can they not attract attention? Moreover, they are currently drawing the attention of five demons of the sixth rank and above. What a powerful demon hunting squad. Are they at the martial level? Many people have questions in their minds. However, if they are a martial level demon hunting squad, why hasn't anyone used spiritual wings? Long Haochen is naturally unaware of the sentiments of his allies towards their side, but he is currently under immense pressure. Under this pressure, his own potential is being squeezed out bit by bit, but his own spiritual power consumption is also significant. This situation needs to change, otherwise, his spiritual power will eventually be depleted. Should they retreat? If they retreat, the pressure will certainly lessen, but if they retreat now, won't all their previous efforts be in vain? and the pressure on their allies will increase once again. If only the number of enemies could be reduced. While the aerial dual-headed vulture is annoying, there is only one of them after all, and if Long Haochen can focus on dealing with it, even if he can't bring it down, at least he can ensure that the team members aren't attacked by it. But the most troublesome are those three ten-eyed sorcerers in the distance. Their attack power is extremely formidable, and when the three sorcerers combine their attacks, they can shatter Long Haochen's holy shield spell in one go and it can only be barely stopped by pairing it with Divine Realm Block, making it increasingly difficult for Long Haochen to cope with. Although Wang Yuan Yuan and Shima Xian are eager to rush out, with their strength, if they really charge out, even if they can injure those sorcerers, they probably won't come back alive. Therefore, Long Haochen gave strict orders, that no one should leave formation. They must maintain the shuttle formation, in order to withstand the pressure from the demons. What should they do? Should they give up their previous efforts like this? Just then, the pressure suddenly decreased significantly, in the sky. Five figures suddenly descended like lightning, and their targets were none other than the three sorcerers. At Long Haochen's side, a burly man suddenly rushed out, wielding a pair of battle axes that swept through the demons in front of Long Haochen, including the golden dual-bladed demon, causing many demon soldiers to be sent flying, and of course, those with insufficient strength were chopped in two. It was the powerful group battle skill, Whirlwind Strike. Seeing this man, Long Haochen couldn't help but be surprised, because he actually recognized this axe warrior. And wasn't he none other than Lao Wu, who had lost to him with a hundred thousand merits? On the battlefield, Lao Wu's performance was exceptionally fierce. His pair of huge axes were like bulldozers as they crazily cleaved through the demons in front of him, and it was evident that he had already activated his berserk skill, even if demon attacks landed on him. 
They were all easily brushed off. The frontal pressure suddenly decreased. Significantly, and Long Haochen could finally catch his breath, as his gaze turned towards the three sorcerers. The five figures that descended from the sky were five individuals, and behind each of them. There were dazzling energy wings flapping, spiritual wings, sixth rank powerhouses. The five individuals descended from the sky, with the leading figure, riding on the back of a six-legged tall horse, this war horse also had double wings on its back, but it wasn't a unicorn, it was a six-legged flying horse, a very rare type of mount in the human world, whether in the air or on the ground. It possessed formidable combat abilities. Unfortunately, it wasn't of the light attribute, but rather a fire attribute magical beast. Otherwise, its role could even compare to that of the radiant unicorn. Seated on the horse, was a knight clad in a full set of radiant great equipment, wielding a tower shield in the left hand and a heavy sword in the right. As the six-legged flying horse descended from the sky in an instant, it charged straight towards one of the sorcerers. Dazzling golden light suddenly radiated from his body like a center, spreading out like a golden wall expanding around him. Within a radius of thirty meters, except for the three sorcerers, all other demons were sent flying, allowing his four companions to land safely. Next, it was time for these five individuals to perform. Amidst a dazzling radiance, in just a few blinks of an eye, those three sorcerers who had approached were already lifeless corpses. Their powerful appearance provided great relief for Long Haochen and his team. The commander level 8 demon hunting squad, led by the knight at the front, was none other than Zhang Fangfang, who had come to apologize to Long Haochen before their departure. After taking out the three sorcerers, Zhang Fangfang turned around and gave Long Haochen a thumbs up, and Long Haochen tapped his shoulder with his right heavy sword, returning the gesture of a knight. This was on the battlefield, and he didn't have time to say anything to Zhang Fangfang. But in their eye contact, they both showed mutual respect. The appearance of the Commander Level 8 Demon Hunting Squad was perfectly timed, not only relieving the pressure on Long Haochen's team, but also creating a breakthrough in the demon camp once again, forming a combined force with Long Haochen's team. This caused the pressure on the human forces in the rear to drop sharply. The commander of the Temple Alliance was not foolish, and he naturally wouldn't miss this opportunity. He commanded the human warriors to launch a counterattack, rapidly advancing within 30 meters. Long Haochen's opponents went from 5 to just 2, making the situation much easier for him. His primary defense was focused on the aerial dual-headed vulture, but suddenly, he released a dazzling golden light. In the moment the golden light burst forth, blue light followed suit, Long Haochen's blue rain, light lotus in hand quietly disappeared, which is his sword's most powerful attack, light rain hibiscus thrust. The target naturally being that extremely cunning golden dual-bladed demon. Long Haochen's strike had been prepared for a long time, and before launching it, his holy guiding spirit furnace's attraction skills suddenly burst forth. The increase in power also boosted his furnace's might, and with a strong pull, it briefly slowed down the golden dual-bladed demon trying to escape, and in the next instant, golden and blue light had already burst within this cunning enemy. A terrifying attack power erupted like a tidal wave. Boom, the body of the golden dual-bladed demon was blown into pieces directly, but Long Haochen wasn't feeling well either. The consumption of using light rain hibiscus thrust on him was even greater than using azura strike, requiring a full consumption of 1,500 spiritual points and that's because he himself is a son of light, with reduced consumption when using skills. The aerial dual-headed vulture had been constantly searching for Long Haochen's vulnerabilities. And how could it miss such a good opportunity? After breaking through the defense set up by Hao Yu and Lin Sin, its true form fiercely collided with Long Haochen's brilliant holy shield. Magic erupted at close range, a fusion magic of fire and darkness, and the dark core explosion was suddenly released. Long Haochen's holy shield spell and holy spirit's protection were all shattered, and he himself was sent flying directly. Fortunately, the shared life through the soul chain was present, and seven golden lights lit up simultaneously. From the beginning of the battle until now, this was the first time Long Haochen and his team faced a crisis. After the dual-headed vulture blasted Long Haochen away, its massive body effectively fell into the core position of Long Haochen's team. In the face of such a crisis, the seven members of Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad remained calm. Long Haochen had already signaled before launching his attack on the golden dual-bladed demon, so his teammates were already prepared. A black silhouette suddenly enlarged, boldly appearing in front of the dual-headed vulture. The appearance of this massive figure made the body of the dual-headed vulture, which had been about to go on a rampage, freeze, and its attack didn't go off. Not only it, but also the demons around who were charging toward Long Haochen had similar reactions. The reason was simple, in front of the dual-headed vulture, a massive black dragon suddenly appeared. This black dragon was easily over 10 meters long, with the bodies of two demon hunting squad members beneath it massive. Wings spread out on both sides of its body and its massive body exuded the utmost intimidation, causing everyone's gazes to freeze in an instant. Just at that moment, a massive metal ball slammed into the side of the dual-headed vulture with great force. 
and a terrifying explosion rang out along with the dual-headed vulture's cry of agony. All of this could be said to have been planned in advance, not giving the dual-headed vulture a chance to take advantage, so how could it fall to the ground? The gesture Long Haochen made before launching light rain hibiscus thrust was a coordinated move by their team. Long Haochen had been blasted away, but the actions of the others were already prepared. Hun Yu had now taken Long Haochen's place, shielding Lin Sin and Chen Yin air behind him. Meanwhile, Hao Yu shone with dazzling brilliance, using his defensive magic to protect the two mages on his back. Without a doubt, the massive black dragon resembled the demon god emperor's elite guard. But of course, it was a fake. McDull the little pig had been watching for so long, so at this critical moment, it was naturally its chance to shine. A pure illusion, without any attacking power. However, the sudden appearance of the black dragon, with its terrifying intimidation, was enough to shock all the demons present, to the extent that the dual-headed vulture, in its stupor, was heavily struck by Shima Xian's power pill of light. Shima Xian had been preparing for this as well, and when Long Haochen made his gesture, his power pill of light swung above his head, and the power of this strike could be said to be his all-out attack. Not only did power pill of light carry radiance ripple, but it also carried his priest's skill, Hammer of Light. Coupled with the weight of this terrifying equipment, it directly shattered several bones of the dual-headed vulture. The dual-headed vulture had strong physical attacks, and its magic attacks were even more formidable. But this meant that its own defense wasn't very strong. In this situation, it was facing the freakish weapon that was Power Pill of Light. Not only was it sent flying, but it also fell into a brief dazed state under the combined effect of Shattering, Radiance Ripple, and Hammer of Light. With a piercing wail, a heavy shield descended from the sky. With Shima Xian's attack, how could Wang Yuan Yuan be absent? Shield of Giant God descended from the sky, and the sharp tip beneath the shield struck the left wing root of the dual headed vulture fiercely. Wang Yuan Yuan's choice of location for this strike was also quite clever, even though the dual headed vulture's defense was not as strong as those seventh rank demons in ground combat, but it was still a seventh rank demon, and if it had been a different location, at most, she would have been able to injure the dual headed vulture. However, the wing roots were different. This area had a large number of nerve endings, and it was the most critical part of a flying magical beast. With a miserable sound, more than half of the dual-headed vulture's wings were forcibly severed. And just at that moment, Long Haochen had already returned. Although he had been blasted away, his strong defense, and the buffering effect of two sixth-rank magical skills, meant that apart from some numbness in his arms, he hadn't suffered any real injuries. At this moment, he had returned. Upon his return, he once again retracted his brilliant holy shield. Light elemental elf Yuting suddenly emitted dazzling golden halos, spreading out behind Long Haochen. This was the enhancement effect of illuminating heaven and earth, temporarily transferring the concentrated light element to Long Haochen. Although doing so would place a considerable burden on Long Haochen, at the same time, it allowed him to temporarily recover a large amount of spiritual power to execute this attack. The dual-headed vulture was heavily injured, its eyes gleaming, and a massive light shield, fused with dark and fire elements, erupted from its body. Unfortunately, at this moment, he could no longer stop Long Haochen. Azura Strike, Radiance Ripple made the already terrifying power of Azura Strike even more formidable, and fire and darkness shattered under the sharp blue rain, light lotus, and the brilliantly shining heavy sword fiercely cleaved into the body of the dual-headed vulture, cutting it into two, without any hesitation. When the dual-headed vulture fell to the ground, losing its ability to fly, its fate was sealed. Liu Shi and the other five were already wide-eyed, as Long Haochen and the other six suddenly erupted in power making the six members of Commander Level No. 22 Demon Hunting Squad mere bystanders. They didn't even understand what had happened, as a seventh-rank dual-headed vulture was killed just like that. In terms of strength, the dual-headed vulture was only a low-level seventh-rank creature, inferior to a demon lord. At least a demon lord had a weapon, whereas the dual-headed vulture only had its magic. So, after recklessly entering the trap set by Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad, it met its tragic end, of course. The most crucial part of killing it was McDull the Little Pig's intimidation. He at least deserves half of the credit. The intimidation of the Black Dragon had not yet ended, of course, it couldn't attack, but it could still let out a dragon roar toward the sky. Seeing the massive Black Dragon rushing toward the demons, the racial pressure finally caused some chaos among the demons. They naturally couldn't understand why the Emperor of the Demon God was attacking them. For a moment, the lower and mid-level demons lost their will to fight. Morale is crucial in war and once morale is undermined, the result could very well be a disastrous defeat. Seeing the demon army faltering in this direction, the commander of Xingnan Pass immediately ordered the defenders of Xingnan Pass to counterattack. These defenders were all weary and wounded, but they were also experienced veterans of countless battles, and those who had survived till now could be considered the elite forces of Xingnan Pass. They understood that, whether they could truly survive or not, depended on the outcome of this battle. Even if they were exhausted, they gritted their teeth and launched a charge against the enemy. It didn't matter that the defenders were weary and wounded, because there were 
reinforcements on the way. These reinforcements were all fresh troops, led by dozens of demon hunting squads and 5,000 fresh troops. The Alliance of the Holy Temple's army boldly launched a counterattack in the streets and alleys against the demons. Xingnan Pass was suddenly in crisis, and since the Alliance of the Holy Temple had sent reinforcements, they must have had some confidence. Among the six major temples, aside from the Night Temple, which had dispatched the formidable Temple Knights, the other five temples had also sent elite forces of fifth rank and above. Although their combat abilities couldn't match those of the demon hunting squads, the combat power they could exert on the battlefield was still quite formidable. At the same fifth rank, a human could take on at least three or four demons, thanks to their equipment, even a common suit of armor, could provide them with an extra layer of protection compared to the demons. Moreover, don't forget, they were an army. And armies had discipline, as well as cooperation and support among their ranks. Though the demon army was formidable, their races were too diverse, and they had never been known for cooperation, relying on sheer numbers to overwhelm their enemies. As a result, within the entire city of Xingnan Pass, a thrilling turnaround unfolded. However, Long Haochen led the two demon hunting squads, but their advance slowed down slightly, and they didn't immediately engage in combat. Lu Xi's group healing ability was fully activated, and her internal spiritual power was boosted by over a thousand with the Holy Spirit pill, greatly enhancing her healing abilities. Golden light shone on everyone, and basking in the warm light of priestly healing magic was an absolute pleasure on the battlefield. However, no one knew that the reason Long Haochen slowed down wasn't because of the previous battle's exhaustion or injuries on his body. The impact of the seventh-ranked dual-headed vulture was indeed powerful. But the effect of the soul chain, this epic level equipment, was too formidable. Its attack was first absorbed by all of Long Haochen's defensive capabilities, including Divine Shield. Including Divine Shield. After being absorbed, it was then divided among the seven members of the team, and while there was some shock, the injuries were quite light, and they could be completely ignored under Lu Shi's group healing. As for the consumption of spiritual power, he had the double recovery of the Eternal Melody and the Light Elemental Elf, Yuting. When necessary, how you could even use his Radiant World ability to replenish his spiritual power. In terms of sustained combat ability, at their level, no one could compare to Long Haochen. The real reason he slowed down was pain, as he was currently enduring quite intense pain, forcing him to pause and concentrate on alleviating this pain. The source of the pain was the Eternal Melody. When he first stepped onto the battlefield, the Eternal Melody on Long Haochen's chest began to heat up, behaving like a voracious beast devouring soul energy in the air that others couldn't see. Long Haochen's spiritual perception far exceeded that of ordinary people, especially with thousands of soul energies surging toward him. And that feeling was far from pleasant. Moreover, as soul energy poured in, the eternal melody kept emitting scorching heat, and the burning pain continued to affect him. If it weren't for Long Haochen's extraordinary willpower, he wouldn't have been able to endure until now. He could sense that, the soul energy would quickly vanish once it entered the eternal melody. But the scorching sensation of the eternal melody would also intensify. But he also felt that, eternal melody is not all-powerful. Its attraction to souls is only about a diameter of 200 meters. Beyond this distance, it can't absorb them. So, he slowed down to let eternal melody absorb at a slower pace. To quickly digest and absorb the souls just sucked in, otherwise, the burning sensation was already making him feel like he was about to burn through his chest. How could he still fight? However, this burning sensation wasn't entirely without benefits. Within that burning, Long Haochen clearly felt the speed at which the liquid spiritual power within his body was revolving around the Holy Guiding Spirit Furnace suddenly increase. And it was continuously compressing inward. Although the burning of Eternal Melody made him feel like his chest was going to be burned through, at the same time, he could also feel that he had seemingly grasped a hint of inspiration. Unfortunately, he couldn't immediately sit down to cultivate in this situation. Otherwise, with his comprehension ability, since he had seized an inspiration, he would definitely gain something from it. The burning sensation at the location of Eternal Melody gradually cooled down due to Long Haochen's slowed pace, and he also breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't want to let Eternal Melody absorb the power of souls, which was obviously beneficial to the Tower of Eternity, but for the things left behind by this necromancer. He had always had a dislike. Other people also took advantage of the opportunity in front of them to quickly recover their spiritual power under Long Haochen's released Gathering Spirit Halo, although their speed on the battlefield was slower now, but their previous performance had already earned them a lot of praise. It was their breakthrough that set things in motion, driving this counterattack. How is everyone doing? Long Haochen turned to look at Lu Xi, although he was asking. Everyone, he was mainly asking the members of Commander Level 22 Demon Hunting Squad. Their 21 squad had seven members with soul links, so if something went wrong, they would all be affected. Lu Xi said. No problem, we can still fight. Long Haochen nodded and said. Let's go. The burning sensation in his chest had already subsided, but there would be more bodies ahead. He didn't have any other choice, he could only endure it alone, he couldn't falter at this time, right? 
The counterattack boosted the morale of the Temple Alliance warriors, led by the fresh reinforcements. They actually managed to suppress the demons that had penetrated Jingnan Pass for a moment. And they steadily advanced, reclaiming lost territory. Long Haochen and his group appeared on the battlefield again, immediately becoming one of the sharp blades breaking through the enemy lines, Long Haochen charging at the forefront, protected by Hao Yu and Yi Jun's magic, while Bai Xiaomo's plant-based magic created a circle of thorns around the team, enhancing their overall defense. For a moment, they truly had the momentum of breaking through everything. The coordination of the 13 people became more and more seamless, even against 6th rank demons, they couldn't stop them for a moment. As for 7th rank demons, they were, after all, a minority, they had already killed two of them one after another. They couldn't be unlucky every time. Long Haochen became the busiest person, he had to command, kill enemies, defend, and at the same time, he had to use eternal melody to collect the bodies of those demons. Of course, Long Haochen was selective now, letting go of anything below 5th rank directly, but collecting all those 5th rank and above, not to mention the value of the bodies. Just the demon crystals alone amounted to a substantial sum. At this moment, the discipline of the team is evident, except for Long Haochen, whether it's commander level number 21 or number 22, all the others are focused solely on killing enemies, defending, and assisting, without anyone bothering to collect the bodies of the demons. Even the ones Long Haochen missed, they wouldn't take any action. An excellent team, if it lets self-interest affect teamwork, how can they deserve the label, excellent? Long Haochen only said one thing, he will collect the spoils, and they will be distributed after the battle. The others dutifully followed his command. From the beginning to now, Long Haochen's fairness, justice, and selflessness within the team were evident to everyone. He was shouldering the most difficult task, and within the entire team, no matter how unruly the various temple elites were originally, they now completely trusted and obeyed him. A strong core of a team isn't just about individual combat prowess, it's about accomplishing the most critical tasks, and also ensuring the team has strong cohesion. Every member of the team should contribute. The burning sensation returns to Long Haochen's chest with the slaughter. But what surprises Long? Haochen is that, this time he seems to have developed a significantly stronger resistance to the burning sensation caused by Eternal Melody. The reason is unclear, but it's a welcome development. What's even more important is that, the previous inspiration seems to have returned, and his internal spiritual power is gathering at a frantic pace, under the influence of that burning sensation, even as he continuously uses skills, his internal spiritual power doesn't seem to diminish. It seems that Eternal Melody has brought some special ability. Could it be that Eternal Melody's absorption of soul energy can also restore my spiritual power? This thought only crossed his mind, and Long Haochen didn't have time to consider his own condition. A dark light descended from the sky. With a thunderous roar, it crashed directly into the Temple Alliance's counteroffensive forces. Amidst the intense explosion, purple-black bubbles burst outward, and at least dozens of sixth-rank Temple warriors who couldn't dodge in time dissolved in those purple-black bubbles. A handsome man appeared at the center of the explosion just like that. Yes, his appearance was identical to a human, the only difference being his striking purple eyes. He wore an exceptionally luxurious black outfit, adorned with numerous dark purple patterns, with the collar raised to cover his neck. His skin was very fair, and he had a handsome appearance. 